Good morning. Uh, before I discuss the topic I wanted to cover uh, today, I'd like to remind people that I'm not <clears throat> I'm not a speaker, and you know I do the best I can to articulate myself and try to keep it as basic and simple. I don't take notes. I just lean on His Holy Spirit. Um, you know that scripture when someone addressed Jesus and called him good and he said, you know, why do you call me good? <clears throat> um, the only good is in the Father, I'm paraphrasing. So, um, I, it the same thing uh, pertains to wisdom, that the wisdom, anything that I share that has insight in it uh, has nothing to do with the foolish person that's um, mouthing it, <laughs> that, <clears throat> you know, what is it, First Corinthians, um, says that the Lord um, chooses foolish things to, co to confound the wise and the weak things. Well, um, that would definitely describe <laughs> myself. Oh man, I know I talk about such serious topics and you know because I'm nervous, it's a tick, I laugh. That's what I do. I laugh when I'm nervous. So, anyhow, with that being said, um, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite because a lot of my videos are telling people to come out of the world, come away from her, lest you suffer from her plagues, the plagues of lies, um, the plagues of anything that um, people are doing to place fear in your heart um, to make you think that you're not on the right path, that narrow path um, following the Lord Jesus Christ which Jesus Christ is truth so as long as you're staying on that path of truth and that path of righteousness that you, you conduct yourself in a manner that is not sinful and against his commandments um, that you're all right I know a lot of people are weighing in on this wearing a mask and again I don't mean to be a hypocrite see the thing is I know I'm a hypocrite we all are, every single one of us. Not one of us are not walking in hypocrisy. The difference is that um, I know this, I admit this, and it's something that I work out in my own walk, in my own salvation, with my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So... I'm going to give you a small example, and I'm not trying to point out fingers, I'm just trying to plant a seed. Okay, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm not trying to point fingers at anyone else, I'm just trying to plant a truthful seed. So there are those who are saying that we should protest as Christians, which I don't define myself as a Christian, I define myself as a follower of Christ. Because most people that claim to be Christians are following other Christians. I'm not following Christians, I'm following Christ. So, most of them are, you know, weighing in on this mask thing, which I don't agree with wearing one. But I pick my battles, and that's the whole point of this video, is when you're walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, 
you are building your relationship with him and learning as you're going along, learning as you're doing. And none of us are going to walk 100% in, in everything that we do. Now again, admitting that, you know, you're a hypocrite too, I, we're all here, okay? We're all here because we came against our father. So we're all like in the same boat, okay? <laughs> so this mask thing, I don't agree with it, but I wear one in places that you have to have one. They're like, oh, well, that's satanic. You know, you're participating in a satanic ceremony. Don't you know that? Yes, I do, actually. I do have knowledge of why this is taking place. Ephesians 6, 12, this is all spiritual. It's all ceremonial. They, there are satanic things everywhere. So here's the hypocrisy that I see in a lot of people. Those that have truther channels and say that they walk with Christ. So they'll say something. They'll tell you how to walk. They'll tell you you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But these are the same people that ask for money. A lot of them, not all of them. But a lot of them ask for money. Now if you take a look at this, this, is the, this, this has got to be the most satanic thing ever. Look at all the symbols on it, the, the idolatry, this pyramid. It's a symbol of alchemy. This is as satanic as it gets. Um, are you telling me that those that are being hypocrites, telling others, uh, you know, that's satanic, don't do that. Yeah, there are certain things that you can abstain from, like celebrating holidays. I don't do that because they're satanic ceremonies. And I, I'm aware of that. But with my walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, He knows the system that I'm living in. He knows I need to make this so I can eat. Now, does that mean that I'm going to compromise and get a vaccine? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to allow them to inject something into my body but I'm picking my battles. I'm wearing a mask because I understand that most people are spiritually blind and spiritually deaf. And I am considerate of the fear and terror and the unknown within others. I'm loving others by my actions. Does that make sense? The Lord Jesus Christ said to put him first, which I do. I consider him before I say something and before I do something. He also said in his second commandment to love others as you love yourself. And I am. I'm trying to be considerate of I understand that they're blind. I understand that they don't know what's happening. They don't know we're in a spiritual warfare. So I wear a mask because I'd like to go into a store and buy food. Now again, if it continues in the path that some think it's going to end up where you have to have a vaccine, of course I'm not going to get one. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But do you think I'm going to protest? And and do you know how you should you know how you truly protest? Sorry, I'm not a speaker. I'm all over the place. <laughs> you truly protest with this. This is how you vote. I knew this before I became born again. Is when you are not accepting what somebody's doing, like I won't shop at Walmart because I know what Walmart's all about. Now, this is how I protest, how I use this. I use this for necessities for food, 
but I won't go and support different companies that I know they're all satanic they're all the advertisements and commercials all of them are satanic colors numbers they're all it's you could call it programming you could call it a spell um, but that's what they're doing they're spell casting they're flashing subliminal messages you know in the movie they live that's they you know some people would refer to it as a documentary which there's a lot of truth in that it's truth in plain sight a lot of these so-called fictional sci-fi movies have truth in them so again those that are being hypocrites telling people what they should and shouldn't do oh you shouldn't do that as a christian you shouldn't wear a mask you should it's like look you don't have enough ammo i call ammo truth you don't have enough truth you don't know all truth through his holy spirit to be giving any advice to anyone it's like yes your his word is your sword and most people lean on their own understanding and give boatloads of advice and the thing is what they don't understand is they're accountable for everything that they say and do absolutely everything and it's even worse if they're not repentant about certain things that they should repent from your opinion is not truth you need to repent from those opinions that you're giving others your advice of what people should do carnally you need to repent from that because this isn't a carnal warfare it's a spiritual warfare and most people do not have his full armor on because they don't have his holy spirit they have other spirits in them but because they're under a strong delusion second thessalonians 2 10 and 11 because they lack knowledge hosea 4 6 they're they're walking around dead and they don't even know it they're walking hypocrites which that's what the pharisees and sadducees were they were hypocrites they were spouting off things about the law but they were living in total hypocrisy well that's what most christians are doing tell tell me one christian give me one example of one christian that doesn't use this or ask for it this again look at the symbols this is as satanic as it gets but because we're in this system the lord jesus christ i'm not going to speak for him because i know better but it's something you need to work out he knows what you need he knows he knows that this is something required to get food even if you're like growing your own food you still need to buy seeds or barter from somebody but there's too many people that are so involved in the system to barter would be something that would be really hard to do so again it's like those that are giving so-called advice listen to no man isaiah chapter 2 verse 22 and again i'm not trying to be a hypocrite by making this video telling you not to listen to man and i'm making a video I, I i do understand what i'm doing i'm just planting a seed i'm not asking you to listen to me i'm asking you to have an open perspective of what scriptures truly mean that you need to be born again in the spirit to have his holy spirit the spirit of truth that that's the only um way you need to prepare you don't need to stock up on food and water the thing is is what people don't understand is what's coming no one absolutely no one is going to be prepared for it nobody the only preparation you need is to make sure you actually have his holy spirit to check your fruit if you don't know truth that's an indication you don't have his holy spirit <laughs> if you don't have knowledge wisdom and understanding if you if all you know is worldly things and carnal things that's an indication you don't have his holy spirit if you 
are not a new creation and you have new desires and a new heart and you put others before yourself, then maybe you don't have his Holy Spirit. There's a lot of fruit. It's like, that's why check someone's fruit. <laughs> you know? And if, if you hear someone regurgitating something from somebody else, that's another indication that they don't have his Holy Spirit. If they're referring you to other videos, it's like, listen to no man. That person is accursed. If they're sharing someone else's videos, they're accursed. Because they would know better. They would feel convicted by his Holy Spirit to not do that. Don't do that. You know, don't tell people to read this person's book or go check out this person. I vouch for this person. You can't vouch for anyone. You can't even vouch for yourself <laughs> because you can't trust your own eyes and ears. That's why it's important to have his Holy Spirit. The whole world will be deceived, even the elect, if it were possible. Why is it not possible for the elect to be deceived? Because they have his Holy Spirit. Because they're the wise virgins that know better. That tell the foolish virgins, go buy from those that sell. Go buy your indoctrination and lies from others who have no idea what they're talking about. That's what the ten virgins parable is about. The wise virgins filled their oil with truth only truth from his Holy Spirit only because they knew better so I love you I hope I planted a good seed every single one of us are hypocrites the thing is is this is why it's important to navigate in your walk and to stay on that narrow path and to admit the truth I am a hypocrite I don't go out of my way to be one but I also, it's like I'm still walking in my flesh where it's hard for me to navigate. It's like, I know I need this, but I, but I don't, it's not important to me to have a lot of it. It's important to me to have just enough to live, just enough so I can eat, just enough so I can pay my cell phone bill and my car insurance. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not something that I'm buying material things. I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> you know, I don't need this, that, or the other. You see what I'm saying? It's like, this is satanic. This is, it's awful. Which, by the way, the elite, um, well, I shouldn't say the elite because I'm not talking about the Rothschilds or anything, but the powers that be, the fallen ones, don't give to, they don't give, they don't care about this. They know this is, this is an illusion. This is, this is just uh, witchcraft right here. This, this is nothing that, and this is not important to them, to the, to the fallen ones, the 200 fallen angels that, you know, Ephesians 6, 12, we wrestle with principalities they they want people's souls this right here is an illusion okay it's what controls people and I'm not controlled by this just like I'm not controlled if I decide to wear a mask because I'm aware of you know the the spiritual aspect of it that's what it is. Truth shall set you free. I broke the spell by knowing the truth of this. Okay? That's what's important, is to know the truth of it. I'm, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. So I hope everyone has a really good weekend, and God bless.